What about bears? Did you ever run those? Yeah, years ago, uh, we had dogs that run bear, and I don't let them run them now if we can help it. Now, they, I'm not saying they would. A bear jump right out in front of them. I'm not saying they wouldn't run it, but they they won't co trail a bear. These dogs will go right over a lot of bear trash nowadays. And one reason for that, we have a we only have a one week of open season on bear here, on in our area, so it would hamper us quite a bit if the dogs were trailing bear all the time. Cause we hunt a lot when bears aren't. But they hibernate in this country not very long, but they do right from about the 20th of December till about the middle of February or. First of March, they will hibernate, so they, they would be a problem, but we don't. Uh, my dad used to run bear. Yeah. Huh. What about lion scrapes? Do you, uh, do you think that lion makes them with the front feet or the rear feet, or do you know? No doubt about it. They make them with their hind feet. The hind feet? They're with their rear feet. Yep. No, no doubt. We've seen, we had, uh, a couple of lion kittens we caught when they were real little. We had kept them until they were two years old, and that old Tom got, he, he would scratch. We, we would, uh, they would be uh, separating. We'd keep one on a leash, and the other one would be uh, out there, and we would, we watched that Tom lion scratch. And, and now, don't get me wrong, they'll, they'll make mounds with their front feet, and, and they'll cover up kills with their front feet like, you know, right. like the regular house cat. But when they scratch, when they make that scrape uh, for communications of some sort uh, to other lines or whatever, marking the target, or whatever that reason would be, they do that with their hind feet. Yeah. And a lot of times they'll urinate on that mound, that the, or, the, or the, the, I'm not gonna call it a mound, but the, the pile at the rear end of the scratch, they'll, they'll urinate on that. And if you watch, a lot of times in the bluffs and things like that, like under ledges and up next to bluffs, uh, a lot of those scratches will be uh, made right up to the to the solid rock wall, and there's no way in the world the lion could get in there with its front feet. I mean, there are different things you can see that make you realize that this, not only watching that uh, tame lion that we had, it was that uh, kitten that grew up and we kept it like I said, it was too. But uh, not only watching him do it with his hind feet, but, but the, the watching the places he scra scrapes her in uh, would uh, be almost impossible for him to do with her front feet. 